You see, my students, in this school, we have a line. Got a line? And as your principal, it is my job to make sure that you tow the line. Got to make sure you pull it. Oh, but you don't want to tow the line, my students. Oh, no. See, you want to cross that line. Yes, they did. First they was here, then they went over there. I'm Steve Hightower. I used to have my own group, Steve Hightower and the High Tops. Back in the day, we were the bomb, riding in limos, women jumping up all on the stage. <laughs> so much money, we'd write a check and the bank would bounce. <laughs> the times changed and suddenly we were out. Yeah, it's been tough these past few years. I'm so broke, they cut off my refrigerator light. <laughs> this guy walking next to me is Cedric Robinson. He used to hang with me with me and my band, The High Tops, perform for the Queen of England. And let me tell you, the queen can do the hustle like a sister. And she can suck a neck bone dry. I guess it's safe to say that Cedric is one of my best buddies. Even if he did set me up with this job as a teacher, I'd probably do anything for this guy. Except live with him. Something tells me he ain't too neat. Good morning, and some good news, too. You know, I was singing that open mic last night down at the click in the back where they sell the ribs. Oh, congratulations. So who did you open for? Natalie Coleslaw and the Four Chops? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I had three cappuccinos this morning. Well, anyway, when I finished my stylistic medley, I ran into Cliff Stanton. Clifford Stanton? The president of the school board? Oh, yeah, and the boy can blow. He toe up ring my bell. <laughs> You know, we got to talking, and one thing led to another. Next thing you know, I found out he was coming down to the school board social. So I thought it might be kind of nice for the band to do a couple of sets. He lapped it up. It's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> so you're uh, pretty excited about the band, huh? You know it. Steve Groove Daddy High Towers in the house, and Funk has found a new home. <laughs> I'm the man, we got a band, it's in my hand. And it's funky. Mm, funky, funky. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Hightower, now, this may not be grammatically correct, but, uh, you ain't the main, cause we ain't got no band, so you're gonna look stupid. Woo! Stupid, stupid, yeah. <laughs> you know, this teaching thing is starting to grow on me, except for the hours. Shoot. Last time I was up this early, there were only three networks, two weigh-in brothers, and O.J. was up for an image award. <laughs> and then there's the students. You know, I finally think I'm starting to reach them. They may not always like the way I do things, but at least I know I finally gained their respect. <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey, Sid, how's it going? <laughs> Got one word for you, dog. Bam! <laughs> Say, this is a platinum card. <laughs> oh, Say, they don't just give these to anybody. Now, where'd you learn how to make one? Oh, no, this only for real here, dog. Came in the mail. Got my name on it, my own expiration date. Plus, it came with a tote bag. <laughs> hey, man, this gotta be a mistake. Your credit is terrible. Your checks do more bouncing than Nail Carter on a pogo stick. <laughs> See, that was then. This is now. A brother ain't gone platinum. <laughs> what is this world coming to? I pay my bills on time. I can't even get a thank you card. <laughs> Say it. What are you doing? I need to get the video camera. I'm trying to get my love life going. Why don't you just watch cable like the rest of the world? Come on, Steve. It's for Bright Connections. That's a new video dating club I joined. Video dating? What's that for? Whatever happened to sitting in the mall holding your sister's baby? He learned how to talk. Start telling everybody, he don't have a Corvette. We came on the bus. 
kind of video dating service you using? Well, it's an extra hundred dollars to make a video. If I make the tape myself, I'll save enough money for 10 dates right there. Say, why don't you just use a video camera at home? Oh, yeah. Hold up, Sid, you're forgetting your car. Mr. Hightower, what are you doing? You trying to break into the supply closet? Regina, I told him it was wrong. <laughs> he said, shut up and look out for Piggy. <laughs> Relax, man. If this is about the last pork chop missing, I ate it. I got to have protein, too. Steve, I just saw a rat. A big rat. A hood rat. Gold teeth, do-rag. I think he had a beeper. You know, said there's a 12-step program somewhere with your name on it. It's in the cabinet right there. Check for yourself. Oh, come on, said. I can't believe you getting punked by a mouse. See? Nothing. <laughs> Man, I don't feel like signing up to be in no stupid play. It's not a stupid play. Romeo and Juliet is Shakespeare. It's a classic. Oh, no, no, no. Scarface. Now, that's a classic. You stick it with me, and all of this here are gonna be yours. Romeo, I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you. You know what? You've been doing that a lot lately. What's up with that? I just think there should be more to our relationship than me slapping your hand away and saying, Mira, my father's in the next room. I agree. So stop doing it. <laughs> stop it. Are you going to try for the play or what? If it's that important to you, I'll do it, Sophia. I already got the name. I guess I owe it to the public. It's going to be a lot of fun. And once you get into the story, it's really beautiful. Uh-huh. Oh, this Romeo actually gets some, right? <laughs> Save. You still playing video games? Man, I gotta practice up. Junior's coming over. He's a little kid I've been matched up with in the Brothers Who Care program. Well, it's my day off. And I'm in the Brothers That Ain't Got Kids For A Reason program. <laughs> Dog, you only talk that way because you don't know the warm feeling you get when you open up your heart to these young kids. Well, see, that's how it starts. First, you open up your heart. Then you're gonna have to open up your wallet. Then after that, you're probably gonna have to open up a trust fund. <laughs> That's probably Junior. Be nice. He's a little shy. Ha ha! Yeah! 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 Hello, Miss Hightower. Romeo Santana, freeze. Miss Rip, if this is about me getting a tutor, forget about it. I don't want no geeky brainiac messing up my flow. Boy, I seen your grades. You ain't got no flow. You're the only kid in this school take remedial lunch. Hi, Miss Greer. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was just running across the street and I caused a three-car accident. Hi, Nicole. Uh, Nicole's a college student, Mr. Hightower, and um, she's going to be Romeo's tutor. You know, I've been begging Miss Greer to get me some help. <laughs> we can start tonight. You got a call? Well, yeah, let's get something understood here. Nicole is your tutor. That means she's here to help you learn, not to help get your little teenage freak on. Thank you, Mr. Hightower. You know, sometimes people have trouble seeing past, well, you know, this. <laughs> Me and I search dogs. Look, why don't we continue this in my office? What is this world coming to? I flunk, I get a whipping. He get a Playboy bunny. What's up, Tamika? Hey. All right. Keep smiling at a brother like that. You're going to make me want to buy you a fake Fendi bag. <laughs> You're too much. Uh-oh. You look like you want the matching checkbook, too. <laughs> What's up, Luscious? What you doing Saturday night? You wanna go out? I'd love to, but I have to ask my parents, and right now, I'm late for home ec. Oh, well, you better hurry up, because they probably missing the brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> right now. 
they probably missing the brown sugar? <laughs> hey, man, they can't all be winners. <laughs> they can if you're me. Watch and learn. <laughs> Romeo, shouldn't you be on your way to flunking geometry? <laughs> Check out Bullethead's Whack Mac. Okay, you don't know me, and uh, you probably have a ton of guys coming up to you and telling you how beautiful you are all the time, but I wanted to let you know that you can add me to the list. You are so out of my league, I ain't even gonna tell you my name. Wait, what's your name? If he can do that, I ought to be able to get a bank loan. <laughs> Check out this new tilt. Where did they get her from? The old Lord Look -a Here Agency? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm tripping. Nobody told me Halle Berry was working here. <laughs> oh, my bad. You're not her, are you? You much finer. What your name is, girl? I'm Juanita Duchesne. Oh, Duchesne. <laughs> Excuse me, has anybody told you that you look just like Steve Hightower? Well, as a matter of fact, that's what uh, Marilyn McCoo said when she handed me my Grammy. <laughs> wow, I am such a fan of you and the high tops. I can't believe it's Steve Hightower. Wow, your hands are so strong. I, I like a man with strong hands. Well, uh, thank you. They strong because I do a lot of things with them. You know, I got strong hands. I can open up a jar of peanut butter like that. Ladies, word in the hall is that you're putting everybody's name on the computer. Why don't you do me and my boy here a little favor? You know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Bada boom, bada bing, capiche? What, you been watching Joe Pesci movies again? Mm. Get out! <laughs> I'm gonna change my address, because if I get another bad report card, I'm gonna be wearing my father's work boot in my back pocket. Forget it. We have a ubiquitous responsibility. Girl, you got hooked up with some phonics. I concur. I have. <laughs> oh, my God. The screen went blank. Mayday, mayday. I need more power. That's my mark. Maybe I could help. Nah, you'd never go for it. What? What? I'll do anything if you fix it. Just name it. Go out on a date with me? Sophia, where is that computer manual? Okay. You better find it quick before those files fly up to cyber heaven. Okay, I'll go out with you. Would you just fix it? Oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, you save a little something, something for the date. Good morning, Regina. Good morning. Oh, I see you got the newsletters. Mm -hmm. Told you I'd get them printed up on time. Front page looks great. You did proofread the whole thing. Of course I proofread it. I looked that thing over so hard, I wanted to buy the drink and take it to the house. <laughs> oh, really? Well, then how do you explain this? Beautiful buxom nurse looking to play doctor on call 24 hours. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. You're sick. You got a number for her. You didn't proofread these, did you, Mr. Hightower? Come on, Regina, of course I did. Sort of. Oh, Regina, the Bears was playing on TV. I depended on you to proof the newsletter before it was sent out. Now, every parent in this school is reading about Snow White and the Eighth Dwarf, Kinky. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh, Regina, look, I take full responsibility for the whole thing. Huh? I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I am for counting on you. Good morning, Regina. Whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with Regina? Mad at me. Well, she can take a number, because I got beef with you, too. <laughs> this is the 15th parking ticket I got this month. You know why? It's a conspiracy by the man. They're using the meter maze to help keep a brother down. <laughs> That's part of it. But the main reason is that you bogart the parking space at the apartment. 
can't help you, see. See, I knew you would react that way. See, that's why I waited for you to leave and I circled the block this morning. And when you left, I went back and parked my car in your space. <laughs> Spent my last 20 bucks to catch a cab to get here, but it was worth it. <laughs> Say it. If you spent your last 20 on cab fare, how you gonna get home? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, look here, dog. You think you can give me a ride? <laughs> well, my brother, I'm gonna tell you like Spike Lee say. Get on the bus. <laughs> okay, class, let's settle. Come on, hey, 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 let's settle. Okay, as you can tell, I bought him a video camera so you could use it to make your film for the contest. Oh. Mr. High Tower, I already know what my segment's gonna be. I already named it. I'm calling it Romeo, Portrait of a Player. <laughs> oh, but check it out, though. Check it out. I already got my peoples. I got Tamiqua, Shaniqua, LaShawn, Dawn, and Latiera. Hold on, wait a minute. First of all, I hope ain't no po child walking around this school named Latiera. <laughs> okay, now, the idea here is to show what life is like at Booker T. Yeah, so don't be representing me like I'm one of your hoochie mamas. <laughs> okay, look, listen. Let me remind you people that first prize here is a video system to the school that submits the winning film. So with that in mind, let me show you how to operate the camera. Now, you want to be sure that the battery pack is fully charged. <laughs> this camera has autofocus. Hi, Tower. I just came from the lunchroom. Now, you can sweet talk that cafeteria lady all you want to, but we will not be serving neck bones. <laughs> hey, that was nice right there. Now, let's try it again. This time, I want you to wet your lips and hit the word bones. <laughs> ah. Say, will you go ahead and play that old Tide 6-4? Man, by the time you make a play, we're gonna have a black president named Junebug. <laughs> Look here. I got one thing to say to you, partner. They call me Mr. Boombastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Fit in! Get you some fool. Bam! Right there! 20! <laughs> they don't need to count, not 20, 20! Right there. Uh -huh. Ain't no need to get mad. Don't start cheating. Oh, dog, you know I don't cheat. Hi. I'm looking for Mr. Steve Hightower. Look here, little girl. If you a bill collector, I ain't got no money. And if you're selling them Girl Scout cookies, I'm a diabetic. <laughs> and if you got watch tires, I'm Jewish. Wait a minute. I'm not trying to sell anything. My name is Ashley Hawkins. I'm your daughter. Okay, now that there was a little history of the musical theater. Any questions? Yes. Are you gonna let Sean Puffy Combs sample your song when the funk hits the fan or not? Is that your question? Yes. No wonder they got to put the little pictures on the cash register keys down at Burger World for you. <laughs> Yo, it's all over the internet. You're bigger than that buck naked picture of Antonio Banderas. Yeah. You know, this is really a shame. Y'all don't even know who Columbus is, but if I were to ask you when is Biggie Smalls' next album coming out, oh, you jump on that like a nerd on Jeopardy. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, everyone knows the album is coming out March 24th. And Columbus is a TV detective with a cigar and trench coat. What's up, Steve? Sorry, I came through a little early, man. All right, how you feeling, Steve? Chill, man. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Doggy Dog. My name is Sarah, and I would just love to be in one of your videos. You want to see my Tootsie Rock? <laughs> no, mine is better. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, salt and jalapeno pepper. You wanna sit down? Hey, yo, Snoop, my man, what up? Yo, your album right, is banging, baby. That's right. Hey, uh, anybody ever tell you I can rhyme? How about a bus of freestyle uh, uh, for uh, you? How about you don't, homie? <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's leave the man alone. Sit down somewhere. Hey, look, Snoop, man, I'm really sorry about these ignorant kids here, but you gotta understand, 
they never really been exposed to a superstar before, you know, except for me. I can dig it, dog. I didn't yeah. to do that. I just wanted to come through and holler at you about a little bit of business. Okay, yeah, well, that's cool. We can do it. I'm gonna come back later on so we can go for a ride in the hoop ride, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll go for a ride. Hey, uh, Snoop, you ain't, uh, that ride, you ain't, you ain't mad at me or nothing like <laughs> And again, if you do not have a signed permission slip to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you are not going on the trip. And if your parole officer has said you cannot leave the state, you, you are, are not going, going on the trip. trip. I'm vibing that this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is touching an emotional area for you, right? Oh, so you vibing on that, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you for your little insightful observation there, Dionne Warwick. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the high tops have been overlooked three times for induction into the hall. You're like the Susan Lucci of music. <laughs> well, that's why we're inducting you into the Homeboys Rock and Roll Hall of Fame! Yeah. And here to present the award from the rock and roll group Sly and the Family Stone is Mr. Sly Stone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Steve Hightower. <laughs> we go way back, brother. And as I present this award to you, please know, everybody is a star. <laughs> <laughs> You know something? I can't believe y'all just spent all your little arcade and baby wipe money on something like this. Attention, students. This is your principal, Miss Greer. Whoever took the state championship trophy from the hallway case, please give it back. Hey, Steve, I'm glad I caught you. I want to give you an invitation to my annual spring fling. It's a catered affair with cocktails and stimulating conversation with a very upscale crowd. Oh, you throwing this for your white friends, huh? <laughs> Coach Robinson, here's your invitation to my annual spring fling. Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, I'm just getting over last year. <laughs> it's not often you find a room full of black people singing, Oh, yellow rose of Texas. <laughs> oh, look, that reminds me. I've got to go price a disco ball. <laughs> I don't know about you, dog, but I'm going to be fighting the flu that night. <laughs> OK, Coolio. We're just gonna keep you to after the big game. People, check it. We just pulled off the perfect crime. Now, all we got to do is keep it on the down low, and we home free. Help! I'll be in Jack. I'll be in Jack. <laughs> Did somebody shut up the talking McNugget? <laughs> Look, all I know is which one of you guys is gonna be cleaning all the birds you had my dad's bottom. <laughs> this is wrong, you guys. We should have never stolen Cooley High's mascot. Hey, don't forget what they did to our mascot. Remember they came out the kid in the cheetah suit and dropped him off at the projects with a $20 bill taped to his back? <laughs> and they tore the spots off that suit trying to get to that 20. Those Mr. Hot You know, I don't know what y'all up to, so I'm just gonna cover all the bases. It's wrong. Stop it. Just say no <laughs> until you're married. And if I can't do it, neither can you. That's my fault. <laughs> and just for that, all of you got detention. I'm oh, good. You're here, high tower. Hey, whoa, whoa. What's with the flowers? I know your birthday's not till the end of the week. Who gave them to you? <laughs> Look, those are from the janitor with the special shoe. He got the date mixed up. You know he's not too good with the numbers. <laughs> yeah, he ain't too good with a lot of things. But I tell you one thing, I do feel kind of sorry for him, especially when I'm looking out the window and I see him riding on his lawnmower with his little cowboy suit on. <laughs> <laughs> cry. Look, I just wanted to remind you, your two new students from the junior high, they're going to be here this morning. Oh, from the Fine Arts Exchange Program. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready for that. Always kind of exciting to get a couple of new fresh minds I can inspire, you know. 
Hey, hey, Mr. Hot Tower! What's up, Mr. H? <laughs> we missed you, man! Oh, get off me! Don't be hugging me! Get off me! I didn't hug my brother when he got shot in that liquor store hold up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>